Hi, this is Mr. Bledsoe, and in this video we're going to look at how you find the greatest common factor using prime factorization. So, we already found the greatest common factor of 24 and 36 by using factor pairs. So, we used factor pairs to find all of the factors of 24 and 36. So, that's what we have right here. This is, oops. This is all of the factors of all factors of 24 and 36 right here. And we got this using factor pairs. So we use factor pairs and then we wrote down all of the factors of these two numbers 24 and 36 and we just go through and we can see that there are several different uh, common factors between 24 and 36 1 2 3 4 6 these are all factors that these numbers have in common and the largest of the common factors I can see is right here so 12 is the GCF of 24 and 36 well, there's another method that is often used to find the greatest common factor, which it turns out is often more useful, especially when you have larger numbers and it becomes a little more unwieldy to uh, find the common factor using factor pairs. So let's take a look at that. So if I take the number 24 and I find the prime factorization of 24 using factor trees, then I could do it like this, 2 times 12. 2 times 6, 2 times 3, and here's my prime factorization of 24, which would be 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, and then I find the prime factorization of 36 using factor trees, and let's see, how about 2 times 18, 2 times 9, 3 times 3, and here's my prime factorization of 36. 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Now, once I have my prime factorization of my two numbers, if I go through and if I just find the, the prime factors that match, in other words, here's a prime factor of 2 in 24, and here's a prime factor of 2 in 36. Here's another prime factor of 2 in 24 that matches with another prime factor of 2 in 36. Now here, I notice I've got another prime factor of 2 in 24, but I don't have one over here for 36, so that one I'm not going to choose. I do, however, have a prime factor of 3 in 24, and I've got a matching prime factor of 3 over here in 36. So here are all of the prime factors in 24 that have a matching prime factor in 36. And if you'll notice, if I take each one of these, uh, take each one of these prime factors that has a match in the other number, 2 times 2 times 3, which is 4 times 3, which is 12. And 12, as we already knew, that's the greatest common factor of 24 and 36. So this is a way that you can find the greatest common factor of two numbers using factor trees or using the prime factorization. So let's try another example of using factor trees to find the greatest common factor. So let's find the greatest common factor of 210 and 60. So the first thing I want to do is use factor trees to find the prime factorization of 210. Okay, so 210 is even, so I know 2 is a factor. 2 times 105 is equal to 210. 105 is not even, but I know it's divisible by 5. So let's see, 5 goes into 105. It looks like it's going to be 21 times. And 21 breaks down to 3 and 7, and each of those numbers are prime. So there's my prime factorization of 210. 
So 210 equals 2 times 3 times 5 times 7. All right. So for 60, let's see, C, 60 is 2 times 30. 30 is 2 times 15. 15 is 3 times 5. And there's my prime factorization of 60. 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. So now I just want to find all of my matching factors. So here's a prime factor of 2 and a prime factor of 2. Here's a prime factor of 3 and a prime factor of 3. There's a prime factor of 5 and a prime factor of 5. And that's all of my matching prime factors. So my greatest common factor is going to be 2 times 3 times 5, which is 6 times 5, which is 30. So the greatest common factor between 210 and 60 is 30.